lesson. In this lesson, we're making a wrap skirt based on a half circle pattern. So using the circle skirt calculator. So the measurements we are going to input in the circle skirt calculator, I have my waist. The waist is 14 inches and 5 inch for overlap. So I'm, I'm making this in half scale so that we can see the steps clearly. So the waist of my dress form is 14 inches and then I'm using 5 inches as wrap. So making a total of 19 inches, which of which I'll add 1 inch to it for, for the seam, for the side seam to tape for the side seam. We'll be using a band height. This is my band height of one inch. And my skirt length, total skirt length is going to be 16 inches. So my skirt is going to have a tie at the waist, at the band. The band is going to extend to a tie so that you can tie the skirt with the band. And that waistband is going to be 16 inches long, which is basically times three. The total waist length that's the waist the your um the waist measure circumference and the wrap so here i'm using ankara fabric so in order to determine the quantity of fabric you need or how to cut your pattern on your skirt using the circle sketch calculator we have stated what we need the total waist circumference we are not going to use 14 here because we are making a wrap skirt, so we are going to be using 20 inches. We are going to need the band height and also the skirt length. So the app, the web app is going to give us the waist radius. So using this, the web app is going to give us this waist radius. This waist, this radius here, this circumference here is the total waist. And which is 20 inches for me, inclusive of seam allowance, half inch here and then half inch here. I'll be using bias tape to fold this in. The app is also going to give me my pattern radius, which is basically the width of the fabric that will accommodate my skirt. So how I'm going to impute my waist, waist circumference here and then the skirt length, which is inclusive of the band height. So this pattern, this is what the waistband is going to look like. It's going to be 60 inches long for my own model. And then 3 inches wide. 3 inches because the band height is 1 inch. So multiply that by 2 because it's going to be folded. And then plus 1 inch sewing allowance. Which gives me 3 inches. So my band has to be 3 inches wide and then 60 inches long. So moving on to the circle square calculator to impute the measurements we have. So for my waist circumference, I'm using 20 inches. Skirt length, 16 inches. And my band height of 1 inch. Of course, I'm going to pick the half circle skirt. There are eight different volumes you can use the app for. But we are working based on, we are planning a wrap skirt on the half circle skirt. So I'll pick that. So my fabric here is 45 inches width because I'm using Ankara. Ankara is, the wax print is 45 inches wide. So it's giving me here my radius here. The waist radius is 5.87 inches which is 5.7 all over 8 inches so I'm going to note this down this is 5.7 all over 8 inches the pattern radius is 22 my pattern radius is 22.37 inches fabric yardage is telling me I need one and a half yards of the fabric this is approximately one and a half yards of fabric to make my skirt and then my m circumference which is this this is my m circumference this is needed in case i need to add a trim to the m so it's telling me i'm going to need 1.95 yards my m circumference is basically 1.95 yards so any trim i'm going to add 
without maybe if i'm t if i am folding finishing my end with bias tape if i want to add um us air or any other trimming at the bottom i'm going to need minimum 1.95 yards to finish it to for the m so i'm going to put this down 1.95 yards and my scale volume is the half circle skirt that we're working on so i need to fold i need to open up my fabric like this go looking for using the widest width of my fabric so depending on the fabric you have i need to be sure that the width of fabric i'm using this is my fabric open up this is about two yards i have about two yards of this so if i measure this when you see from this end to this end for 45 inches of ankara fabric and my calculator says i need my my calculator says i need my pattern diameter to be 44.74 inches sorry i didn't write this down what pattern diameter is 44.74 inches which is approximately 45 inches what pattern diameter means is this from here to here is pattern diameter from here halfway from here to here is the pattern radius which is also this this is from here to here to pattern radius so for me to accommodate the sketch in full i'm going to need the radius times two which gives me the pattern diameter and this is my side seam this is my side seam here the same and the side seam here so to fold this is the widest if i measure this way I have only if I measure the shortest length of my fabric I have 32 inches and the fabric calls for the part the calculator calls for 22 inches for my pattern radius so that tells me that this 33 inches here for the shortest for the shorter edge of my fabric can accommodate my pattern radius which is 22.37 so now we need to fold the fabric so that we can cut our circle our half circle skirt so this is the longest length that i have this is the longest side which i'm going to fold into two I'm going to fold this into two. This side of my skirt here. Take this edge, and then I need to bring it to the folded edge, making sure that this here is a point. If you need to pin it for accuracy, to be sure your fabric does not move, and then the folding no it this way makes it easier to take to plot our measurements instead of having to open it up. So I only have to plot measurement here like this instead of having to open it up and then plot my measurement across the fabric to reduce any error. So my radius, my waist radius is 5, 7 over 8, which I am going to measure here. So making sure that the edge of my tape, my tape rule is at this apex here, yeah, I start to take my measurements i'm marking the waist radius it's very important to be accurate when doing this so that you don't end up with a skirt that is either too big or too tight at the waist so the next thing is to mark the pattern radius the pattern radius is 22.37 inches with one inch m and also half inch so in allowance at the waist it is already calculated into this so you don't need to bother yourself trying to get those measurements the m is already there and the sewing allowance too is equally calculated is equally computed in the calculation and the next thing to do is to cut your fabric
so this is basically what we have which is the same thing as the diagram so this portion has been cut out so from so the waistband we want here is going to be 60 inches long but well, with my fabric which we have already got some here my fabric is 45 inches so which means that i have to cut 45 inch strip and then add 15 inches to it so my waistband using this as my guide then i measure my three inches and then six inches i have my fabric folded So if your waistband, if you are using a waistband of 2 inches height, if your finished waistband is 2 inches high, high then that means you multiply that by 2 plus 1 inch for sewing allowance, giving you 5. But well, I'm using 3 inches. Cut this out, giving me 2 45 inch strips.